Hello everyone, it's Jaguar here, bringing you another audio commentary. First off, I want to apologize for the fact that it may sound like I have a little bit of a sinus issue. That's because I do have a cold. It was noted not too long ago in my last video, and I figured I'd mention it at the beginning of this one. I'm trying to speak clear as I can. This is like my 6th or 7th run through. I've lost track of trying to do this commentary because I don't want it to sound horrible. So I'm trying to make it the best I can. But into today's video, I'm going to be doing the M tire setup that I use for running with a full party. And then I'll tell you the modifications that I make for when I run solo. In order to run for full party, I like to run lightweight hardline as my first two perks with perk 1 greed. Then I like to run perk 2 greed using toughness and scavenger. Um, I like to use lightweight because I find when I play with a full team, especially one of my two full teams that I like to play with, we do flip the spawn a lot because there are two players that really do not enjoy spawn trapping. They think it's no fun. They rather just get flag caps and keep flipping them and killing them. So we go along with that. That's the reason I run lightweight. If it wasn't for that, I'd probably be switching that out, running a secondary, and I'd probably be running dexterity or tack mass. Either one I find are fine. Just, it depends on if your enemies are throwing stuns or not. When your enemies aren't, then it's usually fine if you go without them. Hardline, obviously to get your kill streaks faster. Toughness, I just can't play without toughness. I'm an addict of toughness. If you look on any of my classes, they all have toughness. It's because I can't stand getting hit and flinching. Like, sometimes... I'll use a sniper class without toughness, but if I'm using it without toughness, I'm usually sitting back fair about mid spawn, not in the back of my spawn, but mid a, not rushing with it, and just sniping from there. Scavenger to replenish my ammo and C4. Because I believe I was running C4 in this gameplay. And it's a good thing. It's a good way to check your corners. Like you see I'm running VSAT. VSAT allows me to know where people are. And I'm not sure if it's this gameplay. Or one of my other MTAR gameplays. Where I have an issue of people are just swarming me. And I'm trying to use C4 as much as I can in order to keep them pushed back. It helps a fair amount, but doesn't always do the job, which kind of sucks sometimes. I wish I had a bit bigger blast radius and a little bit higher damage to the edge of its blast radius than it currently has. But a lot of people do think it is overpowered, and I do have to agree with that, even though I would like to see it a bit more overpowered. But that's just because I do use it a lot. No, that's practically it for the perks and lethals. I have no secondary, and I have no special grenades in this match. And I usually don't run them with my MTAR setup, but I do have quick draw and stock currently on. I do like to run those two because I find assault rifles, they don't come up quick as I'd like, and they don't move quick as I'd like. Um, I'm used to SMGs a lot, so when I'm not using an SMG, I like to try and make my weapon fast as I possibly can, while still hitting hard as it can, where 
I really, with SMGs, I focus on being stealthy compared to moving and that. Lightweight with the stock really makes me move a lot faster than I would regularly, which I really do enjoy. I may have to not switch out my um, lightweight. Instead, I may have to keep with my lightweight. Yeah, God, this sinus problem is getting to me. But the one thing I do change out in order to play solo is I take off my stock and I put a suppressor. And I change lightweight out for ghost. That's it. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. If you're new, subscribe. Peace, guys. I'm out.